Audubon, Cron 4 News. 548 right now, so we're going into the long holiday weekend all very conscious yep. of everything we need to worry about. The fire dangers, drought, smoggy air, all of it. And make sure we don't accidentally spark a wildfire here with... Way to, with, way to rain on the holiday party. Well, I'm just Boy, saying, good just morning. Add, yeah, add that to the like, other things that you I have know. to just keep in mind. Sorry. Keep the mask on, too. It's hey, so true, though, because like right. while the rest of the country is like, it's fall almost. We're in the Bay yeah. Area, like, oh, it's yeah. still fire season. <laughs> And it really is. Last year, September was the rough one, the really rough one as far as our wildfires went. And this year, obviously, we're starting off the month with the Caldor fire, still the Dixie fire, even though it's now 45% contained. And we do have an impact of air quality uh, from that smoke here in the Bay Area. Your NorCal Honda Weather Center forecast this morning is showing a clear enough view that fog is sitting across the Bay or on top of it. So we're not really driving through it for most areas. There are a couple of foggy spots in the north. Bay, I want to note for you though. A little bit of good news for the Caldor fire this morning. Look at how calm winds are all across uh, the swath of this blaze this morning. Definitely our calmest one we've seen in a minute here. We saw red flag warnings expiring a couple of days ago. How nice that set us up for uh, for a couple of days of at least calm conditions, especially around the northeastern flank of the fire, which of course burned through Myers with those hot spots. Uh, crews have been really successful down there, at least really trying to help as many people as possible with their homes and a bit of good news this morning you see those wind arrows coming in from the north and east that's actually pushing any sort of new fire activity to the south and east away from those more populated areas like Myers like South Lake Tahoe so this is a bit of good news this morning it's nice to be talking about that instead of some winds whipping up like we had just a couple of mornings ago even areas and upper elevations just west of the lake are nice and calm this morning Kirkwood wind gusts for you at only five to six miles per hour Hour right now. That's some really good stuff to be talking about. As for air quality, we're doing all right in the Bay Area. It's moderate, so it's not ideal. But as you can see, the poor air is sticking up to our north and to our east. So as we work our way into the weekend, not as much of a hazy impact as what we saw last weekend. Also, not quite as hot as last weekend. Temperatures are warming up. It's less than ideal for air quality. So if you have respiratory conditions, it is something I do want to note for you. We are certainly in a moderate range across the bay. But if you look at areas to our north and to our east, we're not faring as bad as the north coast nor the Sierra Nevada are. As for temperatures, you're going to notice a warmer feel to it. 60s and 70s in San Francisco, 60s right along the coastline. And then daytime highs along the bay shore, climbing a little further through the 70s and even even into the low 80s for some spots like San Carlos through Woodside. South Bay temps also returning to the 80s. San Jose at 81 today. We have upper 80s in Pleasanton and Livermore and only 190 on the map. That's for you in Danville at 90 degrees. Oakland at 72. Uh, Vallejo a nice 74 still. Comfortably warm in Napa at 80 degrees while Santa Rosa at 79. Here's your look ahead at our next seven days. Tomorrow a hotter one but Sunday and Monday really are the hottest of the forecast. That's when we'll be very close to triple digits won't last for long temperatures cool as much as 10 degrees from Monday into Tuesday and we're going to stay in those upper 80s on average inland through the rest of the week if the 90s are looking too hot for you inland just look down to that next line and the one after that Bayside and coastal cities only in the 60s to 70s so there are options to get to in the bay that have some pretty comfortable weather Raina Don thank you for that look